I don't care if you're an electrician, a cosmetologist, or a lumberjack, you've got to use the correct tools and use them properly, otherwise they're not going to help you. And the non-contact voltage tester is one of the simplest tools to use, but it's also one of the most misused tools. Every electrician has one and you can use them at home too, but you have to know what they do and what they don't do in order to use it properly. The non-contact voltage tester is a safety device. It does not replace nor is it a multimeter. The two main purposes for this tester are number one, to see if something is turned off or on, and secondly, to see if there's electricity wherever you're sticking your hands. This tester isn't the best troubleshooting device because it does not give you specific voltage, which is very important. Also, uh, this tester can give you a reading of electricity when there are as low as 40 volts on the circuit, which is actually not enough voltage to operate a light or fix. So what that means is uh, it might look like the circuit is okay when you actually have like an open neutral on the circuit, uh, which you wouldn't know using this tester. I want to give you some thoughts on uh, one of the simplest tools uh, that the electrician or DIYer, DIYer um, can use, uh, but it's also misused or misunderstood. Uh, and uh, so that tool is actually the non-contact voltage tester. Uh, it's this guy right here. Uh, you, the homeowner, uh, the apprentice, whether you do DIY, property management, real estate, you know, engineering, handyman, uh, this is a very good tool to have. Um, but a lot of people do use it incorrectly because they don't know or understand completely what it does or what it does to use it properly. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, it is a non-contact voltage tester. Um, it tests voltage, but it doesn't tell you how much voltage. So uh, when we say a non-contact, it means that basically this is a, just a plastic tip here. There's no metal parts, so you don't have to actually touch the uh, metal uh, conductor or any metal busing or any uh, current carrying conductor or uh, metal conductor uh, in the circuit in order for this to operate. Uh, it, it doesn't have to touch anything. You can have it you know, spaced away from, from the wire or the circuit. Uh, and you can also touch the insulation on a wire uh, and it will give you an indication uh, of electricity. So, uh, and that's what makes it non-contact. It doesn't have to touch the metal part like the screw or whatever. Uh, so just keep in mind that this is a safety device. It's not a, it doesn't test for a specific, it's not going to give you a voltage number. Uh, this is just designed to uh, let you know if there's electricity or not. So, you know, if you're working on your you know, light fixture, maybe in your bedroom or what have you, um, you know, you, you're going to stick this up there on the socket, uh, in the light socket where the bulb goes, uh, test for power, you know, check to make sure there's power there. Uh, most of these, you know, regardless of the color or design, there's a little light in here that lights up, like a little red LED light. It also makes a beeping noise. Um, and then you go shut the circuit off, test it again, make sure the power's off, just, you know, before you stick your fingers in there and get zapped. Uh, that's basically the use of this thing. <clears throat> uh, you can also stick this into uh, one of the, the uh, little, um, uh, into where the blade of an outlet goes in the wall. Uh, this will fit right in there. Um, in, the, in either side it'll work, uh, you know, ideally in the hot side if you can identify that, but, uh, and it'll light up and beep as well. Uh, this one here has a little um, on and off. Just this end here turns, and it turns off and on. Uh, some of the other ones, some of the new ones, they have a button on them where it turns off and on. Uh, but anyway, it's just a safety tester. It's good to have, you know, in your pocket or your toolkit or whatever. Um, but, um, so the misconception in what this does is, uh, this thing here does not replace the multimeter. Uh, the multimeter will give you a specific voltage. It's gonna tell you the voltage. But if you're troubleshooting, this is just the most simple device that you can use to give you a rough idea of what's going on in the circuit. Uh, but it doesn't give you the same information and it does not replace the multimeter. And so, uh, is what I'll do here is I'll show you this. <clears throat> this thing will test, if you can see that, as low as 50 volts, right there by my thumb. So it tests from 50 to 1,000 volts. So if you're testing something in your house, this thing might light up and you may think that it's giving you, you know, voltage and you might move on to something else thinking that you are okay with whatever fixture or device that you're looking at. Uh, but 
that's not necessarily true. So if you had 50 volts, this thing will still light up. You think the circuit's okay, but it's not. If you have 50 volts, you have a problem. Um, but you wouldn't know that by using this. So this is just a, a basic indicator, uh, safety device, just to give you a rough idea of what's going on in the circuit for troubleshooting. You do want to use a multimeter when you're troubleshooting. It'll give you more information. Uh, so this is good to have. This is good to have just around the house for miscellaneous use. Uh, but if you are working on stuff, if you are a handyman, or you like um, having tools around the house and you don't mind getting your hands dirty, I recommend getting a multimeter as well. Uh, this is a good tester. Uh, a lot of property management companies, you know, may use that. Their, you know, their their handyman or whoever go in to test in between tenants, see if they're going to test, you know, just to make sure the power is okay. This is just a good basic tester, just to give them a rough idea of what's going on in the outlets or in the circuits. So it's not too complicated. Just remember, it's a safety device um, first and foremost, and uh, everyone should have one and use one any time you're working around electricity. I gave one to my 12-year-old son, you know, he's learning electrical and, you know, it's good for him to learn safety and safety first. And this is a good tool to teach him uh, the basics of electricity until he can learn more advanced things. But uh, it's a good tool for you as well. So um, that's about it. This thing's really simple to use, so I hope that was helpful for you. Just remember to uh, be safe and work safe and have a good day. We'll see you on the next one. You know, every electrician has one of these, or they should. Somebody back there that watches my Snapchat. She's trying to hide. So just because the electricians use them doesn't mean that you, the homeowner, or a property manager, or a realtor can't use them. You should. It's simple to use.